My guest today is Lou Mendelson, and we're talking about his evolution as a programmer for software for traders. Lou, you first started implementing neural networks into the computer systems. What, what, what did you first learn about that? How did they work initially? Neural networks is a form of uh, artificial intelligence. Um, it is a mathematical uh, procedure that is able to find hidden patterns and relationships within data. It can discern these patterns that can't possibly be seen by the human eye. And it can do it in large, using large quantities of data, of different data. So it's, it's really something that you have to have a computer, you have to use this particular capability in order to accomplish the task. Um, in a sense, it's, it's really, I don't want to get too technical, but you know, it, basically you train the neural network with input data, raw data. You, there's a, a massaging of the data that you can do to what's known as pre-processing the data. Uh, and you create these different neural network models and then you have to assess them for their accuracy and so forth. So there's, a, there's an iterative process that is involved in it can be very laborious and very time consuming. What were the first results when you first tried to program these in? Were they working for you? Yeah, they were working. I went down a number of dead-end streets and you know there were a lot of challenges but uh, I persevered and we were able to develop increasingly more sophisticated models of the markets that had higher predictive accuracy and uh, applied it to intermarket data. That was the whole key, was taking the mathematics of neural networks, applying it to the domain of intermarket analysis and coming out with an ability to forecast the markets, short-term forecasts. I'm not looking at you know predicting what gold is going to do a year from today. We're talking about one day, two days, three days ahead. When you start getting out too far into the future, the accuracy of obviously uh, degrades. I would imagine that taking all that complexity and making it show up on the screen as a simple signal, that must have been tough to do. Well, it's not a signal that we're giving. We're, we're making forecasts. We're giving a prediction of what a market trend is likely to be going forward in the future on a given target market based upon the inputs of dozens and dozens of intermarkets that are affecting that target market. So how do you make it applicable for the everyday trader? How do you simplify all that data into something that they can use to make trading decisions? It's all done in the software. That was the key. Uh, you know, I, I did not want to uh, create a piece of software that you needed a PhD in mathematics to be able to use. My whole of, of focus has been on the average trader. What does a trader need in the way of a tool? Look, I just came back three days ago from the Middle East. I flew on a 777, Boeing 777. It's a big plane and it was a lovely ride, but I know nothing about jet propulsion and I frankly don't know what makes that plane get up off the ground. It's heavy. So I, don't, I didn't need to know the underlying technology behind that plane, as long as I have a sense that the Boeing company's R&D department know what they're doing. It's the same thing with, with my research into neural networks and the application to intermarket analysis and, and uh, market forecasting. We know what we're doing. I've been doing it for decades. It's the single focus that I've had for decades. I haven't done anything else. This is what I've done. It's a, it's a very narrow niche focus that I've had and I've put together a team of associates that work with me who have a range of expertise and through that effort we have been able to make it work and the end user, the, the trader, doesn't need to learn anything about neural networks. He doesn't even need to know anything about intermarket analysis. He really just simply needs to use the software. And you've also got some patents based on all this research you've done over the years, right? Talk about That's that. That's true. Uh, Interestingly, when I, when I developed ProfitTaker and I first applied strategy backtesting to PCs, um, computer processes were not something that you could patent at the time. It wasn't allowable by the U.S. Patent Office, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, since then, of course, th they do allow for computer processes to be patented. So in, 19, uh, in 2009, uh, I applied for two patents to the U.S. Patent Office two related patents. The first one 
had to do with the entire process of training the neural networks, selecting the intermarket and uh, intermarkets, uh, so selecting the, the the neural network to actually use in the application. So on that whole process over the years, which first began as a manual process that we were doing, has been completely automated. We have robotics that do it now for us. And so that process was something that is a highly proprietary technology that, that has been developed over the years. And we did, in fact, get a patent from the US Patent Office earlier this year for that. The related patent, which I, I know is uh, presently in the process of being approved, uh, has to do with taking the output from these neural network processes and developing how to develop these predictive technical indicators. And we've done that now with a whole slew of technical indicators that most traders are familiar with, moving averages, uh, RSI, stochastics, you, you name it. We have been able, through these processes, to transform technical indicators which traditionally for the last hundred years have been lagging and thought to be inherently lagging indicators. We have now been able to take them and transform them into predictive indicators. This is going to turn technical analysis upside down. It sounds like a trader can come in, even a new trader, and capture 40 years of your experience in a software program and trade on that. Yes. Lou, so the, the culmination of all this is Trade Shark. Talk about how uh, it, it's different than anything else out there. Well, as I said, Trade Shark is, has built itself on 35 years of, of involvement on my part in the financial markets and applying computerized technologies to the financial markets. Uh, everything that we've learned over the last 22 years and all of the R&D that went into Trade Shark, which has now taken quite a few years uh, to develop uh, really brings this software to a point where it's a point and click program that any trader regardless of his level of trading his expertise in the markets whether he has any knowledge or no knowledge of math or whatever can simply use the software and I think that to be able to take something so sophisticated something that you know, we've gotten patents on the technology and to be able to boil that down into a program that John Q. Trader can use uh, really represents a tremendous accomplishment and it really is the, it's the culmination of my lifetime work.